The Hungarians with their Cuman allies have decided to attack the Bohemian defenders in the city of Skalitz. What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another 12-12 siege battle for you today. And yes, you may recognise the name, the city they are attacking today is Skalitz and uh, it is the city or the town from the Kingdom Come Deliverance if you played that game on a PC or on a console. It's an excellent game, uh, basically uh, live your own life in the medieval bohemian uh, world really. And uh, yeah, one of the hometowns I'm pretty sure is Skalitz um, and it gets attacked by a Hungarian army with their mer uh, mercenaries, uh, the Cumans. And you can see here we've got some archer sergeants now duking out with some, uh, I presume some Pavis crossbows, yep, they're duking out all the way over there. And we have a, uh, looks like the Hungarians are setting up first, they have the main line of the infantry arm, it seems like the Cumans are bringing mostly mercenary, well, mer well, uh, cavalry. Obviously they are mercenaries as well. But uh, yeah, so this is a, a replay sent in by a member of the Discord, so if you'd like to join the Discord, the link is below in the description. And uh, if you enjoy the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment to show your support. Um, but yeah, so it looks like it's going to be this to defend with first. This is the force here, what you can see for you, for the Bohemians is what it's defending. Then over here we have a bit of a a Bohemian royal army appearing. We've got like halberdiers, we've got more... Uh, oh, these are all halberdiers, but they're all... Oh no, because they're just hidden, that's why. They look very different just because they're uh, hidden. We've got more crossbows anyway, we've got a, a lot of cavalry, we've got Hussite-like -like cavalry. And it uh, looks like we've got some uh, Bohemian knights as well. And I think we have a, uh, a king. A Margrave of Moravia. I think we have two of Mar Mar Margraves of Moravia. But yeah, we have a bit of a reinforcements arriving. It looks like we've got some uh, Pavi Spears hidden here as well. Whether they are reinforcements or whether they're just in a nice little trap in case the uh, Cumans try anything. But they're uh, focusing down. Lots of students like these are uh, Hussite Flailmen. Very easy to shoot down. We've also got uh, Militia Halberdiers over here getting uh, focused down by crossbows, etc. And it looks like it's going to be some Saxon Militia Halberdiers first into the line over here. These guys are uh, pretty lightly armored, so they're easily going to be a uh, picked off by all the archers. You can see up there on the uh, on top of the uh, wall they are ready and they just shoot like look they're already dropping pretty quickly. There's uh, they've lost about 30 men before they're actually going to get into combat against this long line of spears and halberdiers. They're going to oh they have two units I guess. But even still they're losing decisively and I don't even think they're engaged. I don't see a single man engaged. And they're getting shot in the in the back and it says uh, their fangs are being exposed. Not their flanks, their fangs are being exposed. And they've already broken, look at that. Oh my gosh, these militia are not great. Um, and then over on this side, it looks like they've uh, had a skirmish off and they forced back the arts sergeants. And the uh, Pavi Spears are now into uh, their little uh, testudo. And it looks awesome. You've got like the two professional guys here and the rest are just like, basically just villagers with big shields and one of the professionals is dead. The flag bearer is dead, someone pick up the banner. Someone must fly the banner of Bohemia, their lord's banner. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it looks like they haven't got masses of great, like, stuff to the defenders either. Most of their stuff is just Pavi Spears and uh, Hussite Flailman, which are not great. I mean, if they can just charge into some of these lines um, with cavalry, they do really well. Like, over here, they could just charge into that spear line. Uh, it's in Test Judo. And Test Judo is all well and good for uh, missiles, but you want to be in a uh, shield wall when it comes to cavalry. Because you'll just get battered through with this formation. But it looks like some swords are forming up, ready to come in uh, through this choke point here. Looks like we've got some uh, Cuban spears as well. These are just light spears. These guys are uh, probably going to break quite quickly. And they'll certainly get picked apart by crossbows. But they look cool. And we don't see the Cumans very often at all. Um, and they've got some like some nice lancer units as well. They've got some like Beck lancers here. These like medium lancers. They look really nice. And uh, these are like the light la light lancers, uh, cumin uh, jiggit, jig, jigits. I don't know how you say that. Probably jigit, something like that. I don't know. But uh, it looks like the swords are in combat. They're already fighting in over here, and they're making a very good advantage of this like little flank they've got going on because they can now shoot into the bank, the back of any anything fighting here, which will help. And they can do the same on this side. Anything that engages here. But I mean, this is a nasty wall to go, uh, like wall of men. This is uh, halberds. We've got spears in here. I mean, the Margrave of Moravia is coming in as well. What's he doing? That's a stupid charge. Breaks the lineup. 
It looks like you're going to try and break through and maybe go for the rear over there. I don't know. But this is a bit, yeah, a bit risky. I wouldn't be doing that, really. And they've just broken their line, their nicely formed up line. And, uh, well. It's a bit chaotic in there now. Bohemia is uh, kind of scuffed himself there, I'd say. But uh, the swordsmen over here are losing. You could say they've not lost, these guys haven't lost a single man. They have just now. But yeah, every time that these swordsmen get shot in the back, they lose a couple of men. And they're just going to focus on some of these archers, archer sergeants, which aren't great. But they're good enough to do that damage. And you've got the Saxon militia here. It's breaking already. The cavalry's coming around. Um, yeah, if they can focus on these halberdiers, they could run through. And these crossbows here might be able to stop them. I don't know. They've got a nice, good view, though. Look at that. And all they can see out there is a load of horsemen. Enemy showing an interest, I'm sure they are. We've got halberdiers here. They're just like, hold the line. The but yeah, they're going to just use crossbows now. Point blank range to shoot these halberds, which is no surprise. But the crossbows on the wall here do even more damage, you imagine. And the sword's already breaking through, perhaps? Yeah, this... I don't know what's happening in this formation here. But I mean, yeah, the swords look like they're breaking through. And these pavy spears are having a really rough time. Oh my gosh, look at the arrows coming in. So many men dropping. But yeah, the swords are going to have to rely on heavily. It seems like the best unit they've got. And they are broken, so that's good. I mean, look at the arrows still coming in, though. Yeah, they've broken. And now there's some uh, Hussite Flailmen. They are not great in combat. So, I mean, this is they need to push this hard to the attackers. They need to push hard here. Get cavalry in now. Because um, they could get all this Zebek glances in. Go around here. Uh, and then charge these archers. They charge these spears if they wanted to. And this undoes the defense. You can see here the Margrave of Moravia is coming out. He's going to come and uh, charge down these crossbows. This is going to be painful. Oh, yeah. They're, they're going. Oh, my God. You can hear the screams of the men. Oh, my gosh. Imagine being caught by one of these, uh, like, cavalrymen. And you're just, like, sent running. You are sent running. But, I mean, they, they look glorious. And, uh, yeah, that unit's uh, fully routed. And they lost barely anything. To, I don't even think they lost a single man. Yeah, they've got two Margraves of Moravia just in here. And they're two really good units to have. And it looks like some uh, Pabby Spears are already ap appearing. These are like the reserves. And it looks like the reinforcements are arriving already. This is very early. They, the attackers have barely made any inroads. And they're already arriving, these Hussite Flailmen. They're very silent. They're like cavalry, I guess. They just don't make any noise. I don't know. There's just none of these guys making noises. But the Bohemian Knights are also arriving. And these guys are going to have to face down a lot of uh, horse archers. Whether they'll be able to do it, I don't know. I mean, they seem to be... The horse archers seem to be struggling to kill halberdiers. So I think they might be okay. These swordsmen are losing to the flailmen? Wow. Uh, I'm kind of surprised. Because these flailmen are literally like peasants. There are women and children. Well, not women and children, but women certainly. You can see a couple here are fighting. And these heavily armed swordsmen are losing to women with hooks. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. But yeah, now the Margrave of Moravia is coming over. He's going to rout these guys. And he can also carry on into these Pavi's crossbows here. If he fancies. He might do. He's going to do just that by the looks of it as well. Oh, no. We're going to have a repeat of what just happened on the other side. Oh, no. Yeah, they're gone. These poor crossbows are having a really rough time. You can just hear the screams of these men. They're like, oh, no, they're back again. And, uh, I mean, yeah, they've still not lost a single... Oh, they lost a couple, but hardly anything. And these uh, crossbows... They're certainly going to be shaken, yep, yeah, shaken but not stirred, and the Hussite Flailman might be enough though to rout these guys. Look at them, literal peasants. Just have huge spikes. I mean, that is kind of what a flail is, I guess. They've got halberdiers, more Saxon militia halberdiers coming up. More uh, Saxon militia. I mean, they've got these Noga foot guards. Uh, foot guard. They must be good in combat, I have a feeling. And they've got archer ability. They, I have a feeling, are going to be some of the best infantry actually available to either side. We've got Hungarian knights here. They're pretty beat up. Already. What happened to them? But it looks like we've got plenty of um, Hungarian cavalry as well that can come and face the Bohemian cavalry. I mean, whoever wins this fight here has got a really good chance of winning the uh, entire thing. But they've got so many more reserves now, infantry reserves in, and they've got like so many halberdiers there. I mean, if they play this well, the attackers, they can just take out the archers for the Defenders, which they haven't got masses of. 
They've got some on the walls here, but if they can take out, like, get through here, they can kill a lot of halberdiers. Oh my god, they've already sent in crossbows to come and fight in combat here. Having a really rough time in here. And the Margrave of Moravia is just chopping down men. I wonder where he is. I wonder if that's him there with the uh, red helmet. I know there's quite a few red helmets. Who knows? He looks like more swords coming in. Oh no. Maybe not. That was the same unit. And it's not swords. It's actually crossbows. And they're routing. Yeah, they've just destroyed this area here. I mean, these Noga foot guards. Oh, these are Beck arches. I mean, they can't beat these crossbows on the wall here. They are, like, fully entrenched here on this wall. And they're just, uh... Taken lives. You see the amount of dead down there. I mean, these Beck archers seem like they're pretty good as well. They're, oh, these are Noga foot guard. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. I mean, yeah, they're going to try and focus down these militia halberdiers. But uh, whether that's the smartest idea, I don't know. I mean, they've just got plenty more halberdiers to replace them now. And they're better halberdiers. Um, these are just the mere militia. Oh, it looks like they're winning the fight though in the cavalry uh, theater. That's good. I mean, they can. They can just uh, use their archers to soften up the knights and then they can just charge in with the Hungarian knights and beat them basically. Bohemia here coming around with more knights. What's he gonna do? It looks like he's gonna go for some horse archers here. Look at this, he just gets focused down and they're gonna run away and they have to do that. The Cuban light horses just have to keep doing that and the heavy horse, they've got lots of different variants here. And they will focus these guys down and then eventually the Hungarians will come in and charge them. Once, once they've been whittled down enough. And they've got plenty more. They've got their own cavalry here of the uh, humans. But really, they should have uh, earlier. They should have got the cavalry inside. They still could. They could go all the way around here. Charge into these spears. Probably break them. They have actually have sent in some cavalry here. They've got some uh, some servientes. I don't know how you say that. Servientes. They're in here. And they're fighting flailmen. I don't know how good these flailmen are against cavalry. Usually shock is good against cavalry. But this is melee cav as well. So... Mm. I mean, they're starting to lose lives. Yeah, they're starting to lose quite a few men as they pull out of that combat. And they're getting shot by uh, archers down here. So maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. But we've got cavalry fighting now over here. That's good. The Hungarians are actually losing that fight. The Hungarians are losing that fight. Oh, that's not good. Bohemian coming in behind. They're going to surround this, Bohemian, this Hungarian knight unit. That is uh, going to be brutal. I do love like, the emblems on their shields look so great. And I wonder if that's... Uh, oh, no. That's not them breaking. But they need to get some uh, carry in there. I mean, these heavy horse archers might be okay in combat just to surround these Bohemian Knights. Because, uh, I mean, they are dropping them, but... Maybe that was their idea. Maybe that was the plan. This was going to be a sacrifice unit, this Hungarian Knight. And they were just going to allow the uh, archers now to just focus them down. But they need to get the shock over here. I thought they had more Hungarian Knights as well. But... Eh, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. The enemy have their and they're gonna try and chase- yeah, these Bohemian Knights are gonna try and chase down these cavalry. They're not gonna get anywhere close. Anywhere close. They're still desperate trying to focus down these halberds. Look, they've only killed like 20. And they're losing so many like foot guards and uh, archers. They really need to be careful. And their militia's also already breaking as well. They've got more cavalry around here, more Bohemian Knights. And a Margrave of Moravia. They seem to have endless amount of cavalry and forces to the Bohemians. So they're defending. It seems like the Hungarians and the Cumans are short and stuff on stuff. Um, but they're slowly trying to chip chip their way through. These uh, halberdiers here, though, doing their bit. They're attacking a general. Oh, he's just being shot at. He needs to be, needs to be careful. I mean, they've got plenty of uh, pavies left, but I mean, look, they're having to focus all their army in this one choke point here. They have so many reserves over here. The Bohemians, I think, had far too much stuff for this scenario, but uh, you can see here these uh, heavy bow cav are now holding up. Two units of Bohemian Knights, I mean, they are pretty spent. If they can get a rear charge to these Hungarian Knights, they'll do just fine. Oh, you'd hope so. These heavy bow cav are in bl bright blue. Can't miss them. The Cubans are supposed to be excellent fighters as well. It's supposed to be like early part of Kingdom Come Deliverance. You're supposed to be pretty scared of them. And here they come, all the Cumans. Oh my gosh. So many in the air. They've routed all this cavalry here. They're going to rout it. But yeah, look at this. This is just 
going to be impossible to break through this. Two units of pavis, halberdiers. There's just endless halberdiers, and there's more cavalry over here. They might be able to break this cavalry as well, kill a margrave, but... Yeah, there's just so much left. And they're pretty outnumbered. Yeah, the balance of power is already in favor of the uh, of the defenders. They have the numbers. They have the uh, balance of power. It's going to be pretty rough for the attackers here. Here they come, the flailmen. they just not had enough. These flailmen just want to ca carry on fighting. And it looks like the general's bodyguard's coming in. It's going to counter the flailmen. And the halberds are here. That's risky. Got to be careful. He's deep in com yeah, deep in enemy combat. It looks like they're actually going to push out. Look, they're going to be aggressive on these spears here. They're desperately trying to form spear wall. Just to avoid these crossbows. But, I mean, they're light spears. I'm sure, like, they get, like, their... It's probably their armor's punctured so easily. I mean, they are being. They're just dropping so quickly. They're wavering. They've not even got, even got any kills in combat. They'd be better just going in and just dying, like, there, probably. But, yeah, they have actually won this. This is a small victory here. They've taken all this out. But there's so much left. And now they're going to come around the back of these bohemians. Oh, gosh. Looks like the king is going to have to go out with, like, some uh, heavy cavalry. I mean, they've got, like, yeah, the Margrave of Moravia is already over here, killing Noga Footguard off. It's such a key unit, probably, for the attack. But, uh, yeah, they're going to get killed off by this uh, general. Is he just trying to use, like, he's trying to hit, that's like a stick with a melon on it, and he's trying to kill someone with that. That's not going to work. Yeah, here comes the general's bodyguard. He's now fighting here, but they're going to have a 2v1 on him. They need to get some halberdiers over here to support that fight. They can get the halberdiers to come in and support their general. They'll do just fine. But he's pinned in against the wall now. It's kind of hard to tell the difference because uh, the Bohemian knights are in red. Actually, well, some of them are. And so are the Hungarians. But yeah, they're sending out, like, weakened sword units. They have them... The whole like, Hungarian army here is now contained. I mean, they can desperately bring they can bring around all their cavalry. I guess they can do that. They've sent like a really small unit of uh, cavalry here to try and go up. I mean, it routed this crossbow unit. That's great, but uh, it's definitely like lost a lot of men just charging into this the halberdier unit. It's just suicide, suicide. I feel like the uh, Bohemians need less halberdiers and maybe more like militia spears or sergeant spears, something like that. I know halberds are like a key unit this period, but Maybe one too many. Like, there's not many places for them to actually use them. They've got so many in reserve. And these flailmen won't die either. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like... The enemy general is dead. Okay, who have they killed off? Oh, it's this one here, this Margrave in Moravia. He's just died. Uh, well, that's great, but I think he was, like, the leader of the cavalry army. Like, all the cavalry forces. So, I mean, these two won't feel so effective, but um, they should still be fine. I mean, they're pinning down the general here quite effectively. He's not lost a single man. Just swing around these halberds. That's what they're meant for. Swing them around. Kill these bohemian knights a lot quickly. Uh, but it looks like they're going to just charge into them with uh, some weakened units of the Hungarians here. That's pretty effective. It'll do some damage. It's a, it's a flanking charge. And uh, are they losing? I mean, they're wavering. Yeah, they're wavering in this one. They need to do another charge in. But yeah, you can see like the V of victory, the V of death as well that they have formed here is just going to be uh, brutal. Brutal. <laughs> Look at this. They're going to set up a battery of horse archers just to try and focus down. They're still trying to get through one unit of halberds. They might have been better just sending up like... I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. This just isn't an area that you really need to attack. It's okay, but like all you're going to do is then get in behind there. And you, I guess you're in behind there, but there's... They had options to uh, like go around the back here and charge and before this was all set up. They've been... If they've been um, paying attention, they could have got all the human cavalry in behind. They would have caused a lot of panic. Some human cavalry, some infantry to support to then hold off when the cavalry has to pull back. They could have been in. Um, but yeah, I mean, they've done an okay job of the defenders, to be fair. But they've had so many crossbows and 
halberds to hold this like front line. Scalitz looks like it's not going to be falling today, but who knows? I've seen bigger miracles. I mean, it's still... It's only a thousand difference. If they can kill a couple of generals, do a lot of uh, morale damage. I mean, they're in behind these guys. It's just to get like some halberds in behind or uh, some... Certainly these spears in behind. They've run out of ammo, really. Apart from possibly these uh, archer sergeants. The general's losing. The general over here is losing. I'm kind of surprised. He's losing to one unit. He's literally outnumbering this unit. And they've lost their general. Um, but yeah, he's losing. Need to send in like some spears. I'm sorry, but... Oh my... What is going on up there? Ah... This might be why. Look at that. Look at that. They're just watching from uh, the top, you know. They're just like, yeah, yeah, you carry on fighting. Um, we'll join at some point. It looks glorious view up here. They're just like... <laughs> and their allies are just like, come and join us. I just sending these big lances. Surely they've got to realize that this unit is actually causing a bit of damage. They need to keep the Hungarian general alive as long as possible. And if they send the... Ca I guess, yeah, they're trying to think maybe send the cavalry in that way. They could have hidden some over here, couldn't they? And sent their uh, cavalry in to sneak in around there. But, um... Yeah, oh, there you go. They're going to send in some lances. They're going to deal with this cavalry. All nicely and quickly. And that, that'll that deal with them. Yeah, I remember when you fight, like, the Cumans early game in uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Your sword, like... Your skill is just... Awful. So you just don't even touch the humans. You just like go near them. It's just death. You die <laughs> instantly. But there you go. They routed that uh, Bohemian Knight. With 58 men left. That's such a shame. But um, it happens. It happens when you lose a general. And look at that. They've already seen what the humans are going to do. And they're going to send some uh, some Pavi Spears over there to block that uh, that spot off. But if you get them in the right formation, those um, Pavi Spears, because they've got archers, they could shoot the Pavi Spear. If they then form the Test Judo, you charge them with the shock. So they're stuck in like, they either die one way or they die another. But, um, obviously they could send more over there. And they could send cavalry and archers if they chose to. That would be the best counter for now for the, uh, for the Bohemians. Send some archers over there, like some crossbows. Put them on the wall there. That'll be fine. But they're actually falling back. Maybe they don't want to hold there? Don't know. They're going to hold here? I don't who knows? They just don't want to hold there, but they're going to allow the uh, humans to come in and attack. Going to send halberdiers up possibly to hold the choke point and said, oh wow, they're going to send up three units. Do they really need that many? Possibly not. But uh, yeah, these halberdiers look ever so slightly more elite. They look like they could do some damage. Better than these ones possibly, but uh, I mean, they've got so many here. And there you go, finally. This is what I'm saying they had to do. They how they hadn't seen doing this ages ago. And they kind of missed the charge, though, these Cubans. They're not really... They're not very as good as I thought, are they? They're just a bit of an idiot. But yeah, there you go. Like, the generals aren't going to chase them down, but... They need to send more cavalry in here, you see. You send more cavalry in. They could kill a general off here. That's, that's a general killing opportunity. Because send infantry round. They've got sh uh, halberds of their own. Send infantry round. Send archers round. They could just get around here and they could get another general and they could route quite a lot of these uh, infantry units. You need to be careful. See, they're now going to send up some spears and halberds to defend this choke point and the, the opportunity is now lost. Or there. In fact, yeah, no, they are going to hold here. And that opportunity is now lost. I mean, they can get in behind in through there. If they're, uh, if they're clever. I'm surprised these halberds have not broken. They are surrounded on three sides. You can see the Cumans in the background. They're going to try again. They're going to try and call them through there, aren't they? They are formed up just like that. And these halberds are actually going to change sides. I mean, you could charge here now. Possibly. Actually, no. Shoot that. Shoot that. That's in uh, shield wall. Shoot that. We could even get some, like, no uh, guards set up there and shoot them in the back. That would do a lot of damage. Um, but, yeah, who knows? I mean... It's just going to be a bit of attrition here for a bit. And uh, it looks like these halberds here are going to set up, stop any sort of charge through there. But they could get their horse archers. Go shoot these guys. Point blank range. Nothing here to stop you doing that. No archers. And they've got no javelins or anything like that. Easy. These militia hot, uh, hot pipes are about to fall. The militia halberds are breaking though. 100 men and they're going to break. That's huge. That could be a big win for the Hungarians. 
Look at them, they're all bloodied up. Maybe they didn't form up quite properly, I don't know. But uh, they're not happy. Give them a volley, give them a volley. I mean, they're actually getting focused down point blank, I think, by these pavies here. I think literally they are firing. Yeah, they are firing literally here. Wow, you cannot miss. Oh my gosh. These poor, poor guys, they're just like, yep, gun them down. Bang. Oh my gosh, and they can't stop it. They've got no shields. Yeah, they're going to break. That's a, yeah, that's a big, big win. Great play there by the Hungarian player. Just shot these people to death. Now get the Lancers in. Come charge these men down. You could also charge around here. They're retreating. Charge in the uh, cavalry. The Lancers could go in. The Margrave of Moravia may have to charge in, but that's fine. That's a risk he'll have to take. That's a general risk. Sending some, uh, some Lancers, maybe some uh, guard archers or some spears. He'll do just fine. And they're gonna charge actually these halberds that are trying to reform. But they won't they won't survive. These lancers are gonna kill them off. Chop them down! Yes, there you go, they're gone. And uh, you can yeah, they're not falling back. They didn't realise that that halberd's gone. And they finally, after so many lives, have broken through here. Um The Bohemians are it's getting close. I mean, they've closed the gap. They've actually closed the gap. It's not a thousand difference anymore. And they are gonna. Oh, I thought they were gonna charge in. That was foolish. Charging it here though. Halberdier is coming up now. Now you gotta send your cavalry back around, and you gotta attack like here, for instance, or go after these guys. These guys are advancing forward. That's bold. Um, yeah, they need to send like their general bodyguard or like another unit, and they need to go and charge in there. I mean, they have got crossbows here. Need to be careful. But this is a uh, this is certainly a unit you want to take out. Or we'll go all the way around here and go take out these these fly flailmen, then these archers. That's a big, big win. But yeah, they seem to be quite insistent on sending everything through there. But yeah, they've, surely they're going to see these lancers are going to get sent out, go and do some damage. I think they're going to go for it. Yeah, these guys look like they're going to go for it. They're going to go for these pavis, aren't they? It's a risk. I mean, it could be a really, really good trap here by the uh, Bohemians. He's just going to like. Let his uh, spears form up here, and his crossbows do the work, because they are actually focusing down these uh, lancers. And they're going to come for them. Another volley, and you'll kill at least a dozen, you'd imagine. Are uh, they going to a smaller unit here as well? Oh yeah, here you go. Yeah, this is the, not the formation you really want to form. This test unit does not work. It does not stop the cavalry. You need to form shield wall. And uh, yeah, that did not stop them. I bet they lost a few. Maybe not as many as they would if they were charging forward, but see here, they're losing. I mean, the cavalry's also losing. They just need to pull through. Possibly. Pulling out's not a good idea. You want to pull through. They lost a lot of men there. Yeah, they, that cavalry charged, tried to charge to get to the uh, land, uh, to the archers, but they haven't. And those lances are wavering at 44. There they go. They've sort of stabilized, but yeah, you need to get them out of there. Should have see, read that, gone around, and gone after here. That would have been a better target. Then you could have charged those flailmen charge the uh, archers but hey you learn you learn the hard way you learn from making your mistakes and he's gonna try it again isn't he he's gonna try it again and he's still in range those crossbows those crossbows are definitely still in range he's gonna try that again no he's gonna form to shoot it the uh bohemian player needs to learn that, that it's not the right formation form but yeah these are uh, lances still getting picked off all the way over here maybe they wouldn't be oh yeah they're actually gonna try it they're gonna try it yeah it wasn't a great charge it was into the side and yeah, that's the end of that lance unit. And that's kind of all the cavalry, all the shock cavalry anyway, gone. They can certainly, there's some heavy bow cavalry over here, which is probably just as good to charge into those flailmen. You can take them out. And like I said, go around. You can do certainly some damage. There's still got halberds everywhere, but this area here would certainly be under threat. Um, but yeah, they're taking it slow now. They're trying to focus on these uh, halberds, and they've not killed a single one. And it's just a halberd and pavi's uh, spear off. Who's gonna, well, who's gonna make the first move? And you feel like it's gotta be hungry. It's gotta be hungry. It's gotta make the first move. But if they lose a like a Hungarian general or a uh, Cuman general, you do see this possibly uh, ending quite soon. But yeah, the Cumans look like they're just gonna quite happily run over here, and well, just call it a day. But here we go, Margraves and Moravia coming out. Oh, and they've got their spears around. Oh no, these archers and this uh, King's bodyguard might be in trouble here. Oh no. 
These are, yeah, prey definitely, definitely prey. Uh, Noka foot guard, you may be, or Noga foot guard, you may be in trouble here. These Beck archers may also be in trouble. And yeah, look at this, they're coming up the hill ever so slowly, and they're slowing them down. Uh, at least if this cavalry charges into the back, it's going to charge through its own men first and slow its charge. No, it's not. It's going to go around. Oh, they've realized. So smart. This one hasn't. This one's just gone straight in. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah, it's still, again, it's kind of got caught. And the general's been focused down now by uh, just about everything. He's trapped. He is trapped. These archers here are not doing well. Maybe these guard archers aren't as great as I thought. Not as good as some, like, the, uh, the Arabian variants. Well, actually, it's only when the cavalry's in there, they don't like it. But, I mean, Pappy's spears aren't great in offensive uh, attacks, so we'll have to see what they can do. I feel like the uh, the defenders arrived too early. Or not the defenders, the reinforcements arrived too early. They need to arrive maybe, like, give it another five minutes or so. They seem to be just arriving just as, like... The Hungarians made even the slightest bit of ground, and I just felt that's a little bit uh, a little bit unfair on the hu on the Hungarians and the Cumans. Um, but that would be all that was kind of wrong with this scenario, like the siege of Scalets. Apart from that, it's done. It's done okay. But yeah, they're gonna try and looks like they're gonna try and get around and go. It's a shame they can't get like around these buildings here. But I guess it's not very uh, easy for their general. Yeah, they're gonna try and go after. Oh, yeah, they tried to go after the general, and they sort of did. He's right in the mix, actually. He is right there. The king of uh, Hungary. Doing his bit. He's got a flood lease, I just realized. Is he sort of like... Have they got links to the French crown, I wonder? They must do. They must do at this point. He is right in here. Doing his bit. He's shown his men how to fight. I mean, he's not swinging his sword. Maybe he didn't learn how to do that uh, practicing. Maybe he's only good at riding. But he's right in there. He's not quite found a target to take down. We've got some Pavi's uh, crossbows, it looks like, coming in. They're going to help out. Yeah, Pavi's... I mean, they'll be actually okay in combat. Pavi's crossbows do okay. Uh, but yeah, these are... Uh, I mean, the general's losing. The general's losing, but also so is one of the Margraves of Moravia. He's still in here. Look at this mad lad. He can't really pull out. If he pulls out, he dies. He's getting focused down, actually, now by archers. We've got Flailmen in behind. Oh, God, the Flailmen have been a real issue. All battle. They're actually falling. Yeah, they've got some uh, archer sergeants here. This is it. It's going to be like the encirclement. And the men are wavering. And uh, I think the general's going to die pretty soon. He's not getting himself out of there. He's men are dying. Oh, there you go. He's just died. He's in there somewhere. I think he's uh, on the floor down there. And there you go. The men are fleeing. It's a huge chain route. And it's a close defeat for the Kingdom of Hungary and their Cuman allies. So I'll end the replay and have a look at that. And uh, yeah. So it was uh, sent in by the drunk Norwegians. I'd like to thank him for the replay. It was a really good battle. Um, I do think that these guys arrived a little bit early. But uh, that was okay. Um, so the drunk Norwegian who's playing as the Kingdom of Hungary, let's have a look at his results. He got 232 kills with his Pavi's crossbows, which is really good. One of his knights, or no, his, not his knights, his Valestella, got 180. Um, his uh, knights didn't do so well. They seem to get killed by the Bohemian uh, alternative. And one of his swords got 100, but I feel like he could have done with more swords. He was uh, really lacking in uh, like units to actually like, attack with. And uh, these militia halberdiers just might as well not have brought them. They weren't, apart from one. She's got 96 kills. They all did pretty awful. Then Eskinor, who was playing as the uh, Cuman army uh, or mercenaries, he uh, got like barely any kills with the spears, which is no surprise. They weren't great. His Beck is getting 76 kills. His uh, Noga foot guard getting 124, which is pretty good. His uh, Lance is getting 125. And his horse archers, I think the best one getting 55 kills here, one of his he heavy horse archers um and then we'll have a look at the kingdom of bohemia i think this is the main defending army played by jev uh his best units i think were his oh no he was he was actually the reinforcements i think because he's got the bohemian knights i do apologize um yeah he was the reinforcements i think his best unit there is the bohemian knights on 77 um aiden i think is the main defending army yes aiden is definitely the main defending army with 113 kills with his flailman which is good is margrave of Moravia getting 170 kills 
His uh, crossbow is getting 331, 312 another. They did really well. His arch sergeant is getting 187, which is really good. And his pavy is getting 80 kills, which is not too bad. And then Josemans, who was playing as the uh, another like defender, getting 183 kills with his Margrave of Moravia. Uh, his flame one getting 71, and his uh, arch is getting 32, and his pavy is getting 42, which is not too bad, again. But if you guys enjoyed this 12-12 Siege of Scalit, um, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment. And you can see that Scalit's held. The Hungarians' invasion has been stopped in its tracks on the first attempt, the first hurdle. But yes, so uh, if you, like I said, if you enjoyed, feel free to support the channel. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.